Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Very happy today to be joined by Denise Salcedo. What's up, guys? I'm so excited to be back on here. Yes, WrestlingObserver.com. Wednesday night after the AW and NXT shows. And tomorrow night, she will be doing a special show following the AW Full Gear pay-per-view. And Denise, for those listening and they're like, who, what, when, why? Tell everybody about your Wednesday night show. Yeah, so every Wednesday on the F4W online YouTube channel, I am on there at 8 p.m. Pacific, and I'm basically coming on, and I try to do something different every week, but for the most part, I talk about AEW, I talk about NXT, and I try to switch it up every week and add something different, so I think that the viewers have been enjoying themselves so far, and I've been seeing a lot of like new faces come into the stream, a lot of regulars that I'm finally starting to have regulars, and I mean, I've only had six episodes, so it's pretty exciting to sort of see everyone feedback and even after the show when people tweet me I'm just like oh yay like people are enjoying the show that is so good to hear but it's been pretty fun you know I get to chat with everybody about wrestling stuff and it's just a good time so if you have not already if you go to our YouTube page video.f4wonline.com hit the subscribe button it's free but it will ensure that you get updates as to when shows go up, either replays of these shows or, or Denise's live show. So subscribe to the channel and get that. And then tomorrow, if I recall, that's going to be an exclusive for Twitch subscribers. Is that right? Yes. From my understanding, that is going to be on tw- obviously on Twitch and for subscribers. All right. So it's full gear tomorrow. And I've run down the card multiple times, but I have waited to do official predictions because... We are going to do those with you. And Sempi, oh, if, you'd, if you'd like to jump in as well, you're welcome to do it. Semp, I know you don't have all an right. opinion usually, but we can change that here today. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll try to do my best. All right, so let's start here. The buy-in match. Serena Deeb defending the NWA title against former NWA star Allison K. Who's taking this match? I'm going to go with Serena Deeb just because it's for the NWA women's title. If it wasn't for the title, then I would have gone with Allison Kay because I definitely think that she could be a main focus in the AEW women's division. Mike? I'm going with Serena Deeb, but I think most of the eyes are going to be on Allison Kay here as this is going to be a nice showcase for her. She's got a lot of fans. She comes up big here. She'd be a nice addition every once in a while, if not full time, to the AEW women's roster. Well, I would agree that Serena Deeb is going to win this match. And as I look at the card here, by the way, before we go any further, I believe it is very likely that the three of us are going to pick the same winner in every single match on this card. If we did this before a WWE pay-per-view, I'm not saying this in negative, everybody. I'm just pointing this out. I would bet you anything that we would have different opinions about almost every single match. Am I wrong? I, believe I don't you know. Would be you right. never know. We might have some surprises here today. All right. Well, let's see. Orange Cassidy and John Silver. I'm going with Orange Cassidy. Even though John Silver has gotten himself over, I think that Orange Cassidy definitely needs a win. I think that... Well, go ahead, Mike. No, I was going to say the same thing, actually. I would love to see John Silver go over here, but the reality is is Orange Cassidy, uh, I'm not saying he's got to be super protected or anything like that, but uh, getting a, a win over John Silver would be a good thing. I believe that Orange Cassidy is winning. I see no reason to put him over Chris Jericho and then just have him lose a bunch of matches. He went for the TNT title. He didn't win it. I think that it's time for Orange Cassidy to get a big win. Although I don't know how big a win it is over John Silver at this point, but a big win nonetheless. Chris Jericho and MJF. I am definitely going with MJF. I do think my prediction is that he is going to be the new leader of the inner circle. And I do think that the inner circle will turn on Jericho. But the big question mark for me is, will Sammy Guevara be the one leading the turn? Or will he be the one to sort of stick with Chris Jericho? So that's where I see this whole thing playing out. Mike? Man, I can't look at it out that far because I, I would hope that if there's going to be a turn, it's going to be way later on down the line. But what I could definitely see is maybe Sammy Guevara maybe tripping up here a little bit. Maybe he's got a pair of brass knucks or something like that that he he intercepts from Wardlow and he does something where he accidentally, at least for right now, seems like accidentally costs Chris Jericho the uh, the shot and MJF is in the inner circle. 
All right, before I make my prediction here, I just want to clarify something here. That tomorrow night, Denise's show will not only be for Twitch homies, Twitch subscribers. It's free for everybody. So if you are watching okay. this show, if you're watching this show on Twitch right now, you can watch tomorrow's show just like you watched this one. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to do Amazon Prime. Nothing. It's free for everybody. Oh so, yeah. There you go. That's the kind of guy I am. Look at you. As I was just it's alerted. Better, the more the merrier. I was just alerted to it is actually what happened. But okay, Thank so you producers. Here's the thing. I believe that at the end of the day, Denise, you're correct. And I agree that MGF is winning this match. But I do not think that there is going to be a big turn tomorrow. I think that tomorrow, MJF is going to beat Jericho, and I think he's going to do it in a dastardly, underhanded manner because Jericho basically asked him to do that. He asked to see his killer instinct. So I think that MJF is going to do something dastardly tomorrow. He's going to beat Chris Jericho. He's going to join the inner circle. And then, obviously, we're going to have a bunch of fun stuff with Jericho and MJF on the same team for a while. Then later, they do the big breakup, and it will actually make sense because the inner circle, I'm not going to say that they're going to see Jericho as the loser, but they're going to see that MJF has more of a killer instinct. So everything you, that Jericho yeah. asked the guy to do, he's going to do, which ultimately is going to lead to his crew turning on him. Jericho goes babyface. And my guess would be that Sammy goes babyface with him. But that, I think, is a long ways down the road. But I think tomorrow, MGF needs to beat him via underhanded tactics. That's where I think this is going. And see that, look, we all have the same winner, but completely different ways to actually get there and what we think could happen. So there you go. There's where the difference is going to lie with us. All right, we got Hikaru Shida and Nyla Rose for the women's title. This one is kind of complicated, and it's complicated in the sense of there hasn't really been a build to this whatsoever. So my thing is, does it even matter who even wins this match just because there hasn't really been an emphasis on the AEW Women's Champion? So one could argue that it could go either way. And now I'm going to go with Sheeta just because I do think that she should have a proper run as the AEW Women's Champion. However, if Nyla Rose were to win, I don't think it would necessarily make a difference right now. And I did speak to Nyla Rose, and she told me, have patience, so I'm having patience. Yeah, you could always hot shot the title to get something going with the, you know, the women's title situation. And I don't think anybody would be too upset about that if you went ahead and did it. But Hikaru Shida getting the victory here, I think, would be, you know, just a good way to continue to establish her dominance. And I can foresee a title change happening on this show. I just don't think this is going to be it. And I think if you're going to do the other one a little bit later on, which we'll, we'll get to, uh, I would say go ahead and keep the title on Sheeta here. All I know is that this match came out of nowhere like a week ago. And I feel like if this had been the plan, they would have done a better job building this up prior to a week ago. So I, I am not reporting this because I don't know. But it feels like there was another match planned here. And for whatever reason, it was looking like it was going to fall through. And so they put Nyla in there. So I do not think that Nyla is winning. I think that Sheeta is going to retain the title. And we'll see if somebody runs in afterwards. Or maybe nobody, maybe whoever is next in line isn't ready right now. And that's why this match is taking place. And they won't be there on Saturday night. I have no idea. But I do think that Sheeta is winning. Matt Hardy and Sammy Guevara Elite Deletion. Definitely Matt Hardy. I think that he should win just so that they can officially end this feud, close it up, and just have Matt Hardy win. And he's good at this stuff, so you know it's going to be fun. I think we know the most important thing uh, coming out of this match since it was taped in advance is that both men are still alive and walking, and that's very good. So uh, Matt Hardy gets the victory here, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what stops they actually pull out visually when it comes to this thing. We have got, oh, by the way, my prediction, yes. By the way, we're all on the same page for every match so far. Matt Hardy is winning this match. I think that when they did that match where Matt Hardy almost killed himself, if you look at the way the match was designed, I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be the blow-off. Maybe it wasn't, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe this had been planned for a long time. But one way or the other, I think it's getting blown off here. 
Babyface goes over, and we move on with our lives. But I will say, of all the matches, this could be the one where I'm wrong. But I'm still predicting Matt Hardy. John Moxley, Eddie Kingston, I quit for the AW title. John Moxley, and the interesting part for me is how are they going to make somebody like Eddie Kingston quit? I mean, he's definitely has, you know, this badass character. So it's going to be very, it's going to have to be a very creative way if they're going to have him quit. It's going to have to be done very uh, differently and exciting. So I am excited to see how this match is going to end. But I do definitely see John Moxley retaining because there's still so much leg in him as a champion and still so many dream matches that I want to see with John Moxley and other people like Kenny Omega and even Hangman page and so many others yeah i think for me it really gets down to the drama in this is ultimately how do you get out of this and make eddie kingston say i quit eddie kingston and maybe he doesn't say i quit and i know this is a is an old thing to do but they got that old guy there tully blanchard who was in one of those i quit matches the most famous i quit match arguably of all time against magnum ta and that's where a lot of these guys in that company uh, are weaned from that old stuff with dusty and everything and if he screams out yes 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 or something like that the referee rings the bell we have another case where eddie kingston can say hey man i didn't lose this match and maybe you can't do that too much but i got faith in eddie kingston as a character where if they decide to go in that direction he'll hold up to it all right very quickly i think there's only two possible finishes for this match and that is that john moxley either gives him such a vicious beating that he actually says i quit or it's mike's idea where the referee says do you quit and he says yes and moxley wins and even though eddie did quit he can claim he never said the words but if i had to pick between those two, it's AEW. My prediction would be that Moxley gives him such a vicious beating that Eddie Kingston says, I quit, and Moxley wins. FTR versus the Young Bucks tag team titles. See, okay, this one, I think I'm a little bit torn because of the stipulation. I was like, all right, well, then maybe it should be Young Bucks because we already saw this whole thing play out with Cody Rhodes in the past. So I thought, all right, I'm going to go with the Young Bucks. But given Matt Jackson's injury, I'm like, oh, maybe it's going to be FTR. But I'm just going to go ahead and just pick the Young Bucks for this one. I don't want to say the buildup to this feud has sucked, but it has been very uninspiring and has gone off the rails in too many places, in my opinion. But I think all of that goes away after the match because I think it's going to be spectacular. I don't know why they decided to add this rider in. I guess it's just because the Young Bucks have been freaking out that they decided to push themselves to the limit and back themselves into a corner like this. But I think ultimately they're going to win, win the titles, and that will be the big title change of the night. Young Bucks... We'll come out of here, the tag team champions. All right, we've got two more. Very quickly, Cody Rhodes and Darby Allen. Definitely Darby Allen. I think that he should be TNT champion. I Mike? feel the same way, actually, on that one, too. I think it's time. I believe that Darby is getting his big win tomorrow. I think that's why they closed out the show with the Cody Rhodes promo on him. That was the main event segment on that show. I find it hard to believe that of all of the things on the Go Home Show, you close with that big promo and angle, and then Cody just beats the guy. So I think Darby's leaving with the title. When we come back, Kenny Omega, Hangman Page. Stick around, everybody. Observer Live. Denise Salcedo joining us. We only got a few moments very quickly. Denise, Hangman Page and Kenny Omega, finals of this tournament. Kenny Omega all the way. This is his time. Mike? Hangman Page. There you go. I'm different really? from all of you. Hangman wow. Page. Wow. Yes. The first person to go the other direction. I'm going with Kenny Omega. So, Mike, you're on an island here, buddy. You're either right or you're wrong. And we know how this is going to end up. You're wrong. No. But that's never, all right. You don't know that. We'll all have right. to wait for Denise on Saturday night to find that Saturday out. Saturday night, Denise. Twitch.tv slash F4W video. Free for everybody. You do not have to be a Twitch subscriber. Anybody can go up to twitch.tv slash F4W video, watch your post show, tell everybody about Saturday and also your normal Wednesday show. Exactly. So you heard it Saturday night. Please come through to the Twitch channel again, free for everybody. Come on in. This is going to be my first ever Twitch stream like ever. So I'm very excited about oh, it. Man. However, if you do watch all of my weekly Wednesday shows on the YouTube channel, I think 
think you can expect something similar, a very interactive stream where I really get everybody's opinions, even if they differ from mine. It's totally okay. We kind of argue a little bit, but it's kind of fun to do that on the show. So come on in. It's going to be a great time to chat about that. And please do not forget to check out my show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, every Wednesday on the F4W online YouTube channel, every Wednesday night. Make sure to subscribe, turn on your bell, and just be there because it's a really good time. That's right, the one show where if you disagree, you're not going to get yelled at. So check it out, everybody. Exactly. Denise, I want to thank you so much for doing the show today. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Saturday night, twitch.tv slash F4W video, the Full Gear Post Show, and we'll see you on Sunday, and we'll talk to you next time, Wrestling Observer Live. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.